The last set of games that were on last night were Group E, and it was a bit of a treat. I wouldn't say they were out of this world, but they were still some decent games. Group E, like I just said, we had Brazil, Switzerland, Serbia, and Costa Rica, and it was kind of all to play for, really. Brazil were on the edge, Switzerland had been playing well, Serbia started off the group fantastically, and Costa Rica, they just had a slow start, they were slacking, and I believe that they were already out of the competition. So there was a lot riding on it for three of the teams, not so much for Costa Rica. Starting off with what actually happened though yesterday, Serbia and Brazil. It was a rather straightforward game for Brazil, they just kind of cruised through it, they got an earlier goal, and they just kind of were able to sit back on that, and eventually they got the second one. It was 2-0, and that was game over. Brazil were through to the next round. That was not good for Serbia. I think Switzerland only had to get a draw to go through, and they were up against Costa Rica. Costa Rica have been so slow starting off this tournament. They haven't been anywhere near as good as they were in the last World Cup, when, of course, as we will all know, they knocked out England. But today, they did actually put up a fight. We had Switzerland going up 1-0. Then I believe Costa Rica equalized, and then again, Switzerland went up, making it 2-1. And Costa Rica equalized again. I nearly messed it up there. Costa Rica equalized again. And that was actually that game as well. That was 2 all. That meant that Switzerland did get through. Brazil got through as well. Serbia are so, so unlucky. They played really well in their first match and the second one too, to be fair to them. But that is that for them. They are out. Costa Rica finish up the group in fourth. If I want to talk about who impressed me in this tournament, I wouldn't really say any of the teams have all had their ups and downs. Brazil started slow, but they look like they're gradually getting a bit of momentum now very very slowly though like they are still struggling a bit and they haven't been 100% convincing but later on in the later stages it may well help them out Switzerland I was thinking that they were going to do well in this tournament and they actually have maybe a lot of people weren't thinking that but I had confidence in them they've done well they've managed to get through I wouldn't say they've got any standout players but they've just been good on that front Serbia they started off well dropped off slightly towards the end and then Costa Rica the other way they started off really slowly and started to speed up, but by the time it was too late. Who disappointed me? I wouldn't really pick out anyone either. I've said about all the good points and everyone was kind of average, but I guess we'll go to a few players perhaps, or just one for me. I'm actually going to go ahead and say Neymar. He's done okay. Some people are saying that he might not actually be ready to kind of lead Brazil through this World Cup, but you just have to think about it. If he's going to be classed as one of the world's best players, that is what has got to happen. Look at Messi, look at Ronaldo. When their team needs them, they really do step up. I'm not sure Neymar has really done that so far. It seems to be people like Coutinho that have really stepped up and kind of carried them through. So I'm going to say Neymar. I know he's being fouled a lot, but some of the times he's just going over the top with it. I think he rolled like 20 times the other day in one of the games, but... Yeah, Neymar, mm, I'm not 100% convinced yet, and I definitely want to see more from him in the knockout stages. Into the next round, who are these guys going to be playing? I did not know in the video yesterday for the Group F video, just because this was the later fixture in the evening. If you want to check out that video, make sure you do. I'll put it down in the description down below. I've been doing it for every single group. If you haven't already realized, we have got Brazil versus Mexico. The South American fixture, it is going to be an absolute stormer of a game. I cannot wait for it to happen. I don't know who's going to win. You would probably say Brazil, but I think it's completely 50-50 for this one. And it's probably 50-50 in the other fixture as well. You would say it's the lower fixture, Sweden versus Switzerland. I think anyone can win that. If Sweden turn up like they did against Mexico in that last game, they could go through flying. They could actually go really far. Be some dark horses in this competition. I think all the Scandinavian teams, well, two of them that are still remaining in the competition, they've done so well. Iceland were unlucky, but yeah, Scandinavia is doing a good, good job. It is finally time for me to run over my predictions. First of all, though, we will run through what happened in the actual group stage. As we all know, Brazil finished in first. We had Switzerland in second. Serbia followed them up in third. And Costa Rica followed them up into fourth place. And we'll just go around here. Okay, my group, what happened? Well, it's another four out of four. We had Brazil in first, Switzerland in second, Serbia in third, and Costa Rica in fourth. 100% on the day. I cannot remember my exact form. It either seems to be four out of four or one out of four, but I'll take that for today. We will move on into the next video and see how we can do there. And then eventually, once the World Cup's done, we'll see how good my predictions were. The absolute last thing before we finish today, that is the 13th time in a row that Brazil have managed to make it out of the group stage, which is kind of crazy. It goes back to around 1970, around that time at least. And the other fact is Serbia. The three World Cups that they've been in since they've been an independent nation, they failed to get out of the group stage. So it's not looking too good for them. Maybe again in four years if they can qualify, but that is that for today. I hope you did it all enjoy. Remember to hit the like button if you did. Stay subscribed as well. 
Pop along for another video later on. There will be Group G and Group H. I think I will get them both out tonight. And let's go. We've got England coming up. They may well be playing now. But thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you all on the next video. For you, come along.